the very first trip that I took when I joined the wine business in 1987 was to Louis Roderick in Champagne. Now, it's a pretty easy hop over the English Channel to get to Champagne. I was extremely excited to see my first winery for the very first time and um, to taste some wines. Now, what I didn't think was that I would be completely gripped uh, by Champagne and also particularly by this estate. Um, Louis Roderick's Brut Premier, which is the name for the non-vintage wine, is one of the most famous non-vintages out there, not least because it's absolutely elite quality and it always tastes the same no matter where you are in the world, no matter what time of day, no matter what you're doing and that's what you want, you want a really reliable wine. Um, above the Brut Premier you get the vintage wines which are spectacular of course. Um, the current release is the 2008 um, and actually I've never tasted a wine so precocious and, and sort of flattering already. Um, it's an absolute cracker. Um, and then you will have heard of the uh, Prestige Cuvée from Louis Rodera, which is of course Cristal, named after the crystal bottles that Tsar Alexander II in the late 1800s decided to bottle this wine in so that he could have something very special for his courtiers. Now, Cristal today is a, a wine that um, only uh, rock stars and gangster rappers and footballers seem to drink. Um, but I can assure you that it's incredibly elegant wine. Having tasted vintages as old as sort of 40 or 50 years, it holds up extremely well too. And I suppose one of the big crimes of society these days is that we all drink these prestige cubes far too young. So if you are lucky enough to have Rodera vintage in your cellar or indeed uh, Cristal, don't rush to drink it. It is a very, very noble wine. Um, Jean-Claude Rousseau, who runs Louis Roder, would be horrified to think he drank it as soon as he got home. And um, he's a very sophisticated gentleman um, with huge land holdings all over the world now in the, in the, in the wine world. He's got Ramos Pinto in Portugal. He's got um, Californian sparkling wines. He's got uh, holdings in Bordeaux. Can you believe it? They own Chateau Pichon Lalande um, and Oak Beau Séjour. Uh, and, um, you know, with all of this in mind, they are totally immersed in the wine business and experts at everything they put their hand to.